What's going on guys? This is Brandon from Walker's Woodworks again. So I have all these containers of black diamond pigment just kind of laying around my shop and boxes and drawers and on the counter and everywhere. And uh, in an attempt to be more organized and be able to just walk up and grab the one I need and go to work, I uh, build a display shelf. So if you guys want to stay tuned, I'll show you how I did it. I designed this in SketchUp, just a rough draft of kind of what I was going for. Um, I'll have all the measurements in the description below for my particular shelf. So I just went to Home Depot and picked up some 1x4 common board. I think these are 8 footers, so it took about 5 of them. I started out by measuring and marking the pieces, and then I took them over to the miter saw to cut them to length. Then I took all my pieces over to the table saw and started ripping them down to width. Basically all I'm doing here is just taking a little bit off each edge because they're never completely straight. So I did each board on this side and then I went ahead and made sure when I put them on the other side of the fence there that I kept them all in order so I knew which side to reference for when I brought them back through the second time. You want to put the clean cut side back against the fence so you get both sides nice and square. Then it was time to swap out my normal blade for a dado stack. I got a nice dado set from Tools Today by Amana Tool. I figured this would be a perfect project to try it out. As always, I'll have a link to all the tools and everything I use in this video in the description below. So the boards I'm using for this project are 3 quarter inch wide. So when you're doing half laps, you just need to make sure to set your dado stack to cut the same width as your board so the joints fit nice and snug. I followed the directions in the kit and it made it really easy to set this thing up. It tells you exactly which ones to use and how many. And then you just put your nut back on, tighten it down, and you're good to go. Then I went ahead and started marking my boards depending on which board it was and which layout it was going to be. But I was doing it in 3 quarter inch sections so I knew exactly where to put the blade. So this is a kind of a cool trick I figured out while doing this. Uh, I measured the width of the board with my calipers in millimeters, and then I divided it in half. That way I knew how high to set my blade. So I just divided it in half there, put my calipers back to that exact width. It was kind of hard to get it back in that exact spot, but if you just keep messing with it a little bit, you can get it. And then what that does is set the piece that sticks out the end there to that exact measurement. You could take that over to your blade and raise or lower as needed until it is exactly that height. And then you'll have a perfect cut to cut that board exactly in half and your half laps will fit perfectly. And then it was time to move on to cutting. I don't know why this is so satisfying to watch to me. And it was really cool to use this for the first time. One thing I will advise that I did not do and I wish I would have is to put some painters tape on the back side of this board to prevent chip out. Once I had everything cut I wanted to do a dry fit just to make sure everything fit together nicely. I got out my orbital sander just went over each board a little bit with 220. You don't want to take off too much material here because if you do your half lap joints will be loose. This idea kind of came to me after I had it together. I just got a chamfer bit and went around each edge and it kind of gave it some dimension. I think it really made the piece. I do have to admit though with these really narrow rails to run on it was hard to keep it straight. But it turned out pretty good and uh, you can go back and kind of touch up the spots that are a little bit high with some sandpaper. Then what I did was go ahead and mark each intersection, that way I knew when I put the boards back together they'd be in the right order and all the chambers would line up exactly right. I chose carbon gray varathene stain for this project. The wall it's going on is a lighter color and I just kind of wanted to contrast, plus I just really like this color. Here I'm just laying out the boards and I'm going to put it all back together but with a little dab of glue in each joint. It doesn't take a whole lot 
you don't want any squeeze out on your boards that you have to clean up and it doesn't take a lot to hold this kind of joint together it's actually pretty tight on its own So I wasn't going to stain the back because it's for me and you're not going to see the back anyway, but I decided to go ahead and stain it because I knew it was there and it was going to bug me forever. I like to use these little sawtooth hangers. A lot of people don't like them, but I do for some reason. Uh, there's not going to be a whole lot of weight on this shelf anyway, so these will do just fine. I'm going to put them in with some 3 quarter inch wood screws and there'll be one on each side. And that just about does it. I got all the containers up there. And it looks nice and neat, and I know exactly which ones I need to grab when I go walk up to the shelf. I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next time.